this is a quick video tutorial on how to uh, open the uh, account on uh, Department of Transport, the uh, .direct. It is very handy and it's very easy. Okay, so I'll explain in a few steps uh, what to do and how. So basically when you open this page, just get started and uh, it gives you three options on the left hand side uh, to use your driver's license and vehicle details which is the most common way to do it really rather than getting the registration code from them so as simply as uh, just filling out your driver's license or learner's permit number for that matter and uh, um, obviously the um, expiry dates and all the relevant details that it asks you and uh, it's great. It's probably one of the best features on this website. So um, there's been uh, uh, quite a few glitches throughout the um, you know um, years uh, when we need to book driving assessments and uh, you know to do with overseas licenses and uh, and uh, people with uh, medical conditions. And uh, but this is definitely, in my opinion, this is the best feature of this website. So you can do everything in one spot. So um, yeah, it's gonna let us now. Um, login here yeah, I'm, I'm basically opening a new account here so basically nominate your uh, email address and uh, you can choose your username could be anything really the uh, mobile phone is optional but it's always a great idea for example if your uh, you know registration is overdue they will text you to um, warn you about it and uh, okay so just logging into it now waiting for it to load yeah here it is so yeah registered it's it's all completed now and uh, they send us an email um, pretty much within seconds uh, to um, to verify it yep it's right, right up on the top so yeah okay if we open that yep yeah, it's going to give us a uh, confirmation of uh, registration to the dot direct and uh, okay so before we click on this let's copy and paste this uh, temporary password okay <clears throat> and then when we click on the link um, we can yeah just basically um, paste it into the uh, section where required as that's your temporary password yep just paste that login uh, now they've got a bit funny uh, restrictions to do with uh, you know creating a new password okay so you've got to mix small and you know uppercase letters and numbers uh, so you can't really put something see if I if I try to you know um, choose something that's you know it doesn't see it's suggesting one down the bottom but if I try say anything like name and uh, you know a date of birth or whatever it is it's not going to let you um, it's as if someone's going to log in and pay for your registration <laughs> that's very unlikely so um, I wish that happens I wish somebody pays for my registration I've got a few vehicles <laughs> so yeah but anyway it's best to choose the uh, one of the suggested uh, passwords and then you can save it in your browser so they don't have to remember it, you know, so uh, no one writes down their passwords anymore. There's fair few to remember in this day and age. All right, so obviously you have to agree to these terms and conditions. You've got to uh, um, agree and uh, continue. Okay, so this is amazing now. Look at that. It gives you a timeline when your uh, registrations and uh, licenses are due to be paid and uh, no matter where you are you might be traveling overseas but you can log on and you can pay your rego you can pay even driver's license i'm not sure exactly if if they need to take a new picture i think every five or every 10 years they need to take a new picture see this license is uh, ready for renewal you can check uh, all the uh, pending ones and you can see the dates and uh, you can't even pay in advance um, see, so this is the one that I've selected. So that's the one that's due in August. That's uh, October. That's instructor's license. So and you can even move the timeline and see what's what's coming up. And uh, yeah, it's very very handy. You know, it's uh, you know you don't have to think about it or uh, 
have reminders so that's the one that I've selected up there to pay the registration so initially it's uh, selected the three months uh, payment for the registration I can remove that from the trolley but see it says 196 then so there will be three months but once you um, get to the checkout um, it's going to give you different options so you can choose the um, obviously six months and, and 12 months down the bottom so yeah so if you um, if you don't wish to pay three months you select six and see what's the cost and then uh, see it changes the figure down the bottom three hundred and seventy six dollars and five cents if you go to 12 months it's seven hundred and twenty four so that's what we usually pay you saves you um, probably about I don't know maybe up to 20 bucks if you pay yearly and uh, this happens to be a um, driving instructions vehicle so uh, we pay 12 monthly because we do the uh, the yearly inspections so it's handy to do the registration and inspection at the same or similar time we proceed to the payment because this is the first time I'm doing it as well so you know but it is really handy I've been uh, planning to do it for a long long time and I thought what well, now it's about the time and uh, I've uh, you know spoken to a few, few other people and they say it's just amazing how easy it is and uh, how easily you can track uh, what's pending yeah okay so I complete it and uh, you can download your receipt clearly on the right hand side next to the uh, next to the amount and uh, it's always good to keep your records and uh, yep so hit download and it's going to download it and uh, shortly you can save it to your documents and uh, to, to claim a tax against it so yep okay there it is in downloads yeah and that's that that's pretty much it okay so other features you can you can go back to profile here you, you can change um, details and the password down the bottom so it's, it's fairly easy the overview which is uh, what we've you know done before you can even move the timeline further and see what's happening so yeah so that's the 2019 20 years so you know it gives you about 12 months worth of timeline which is more than enough okay so licenses so I hold obviously uh, the HC the uh, I can you know drive semis and uh, you know trucks and uh, obviously I've got the instructors uh, down at the bottom it even says that the merit points I'm, I've got a clean license I've got a break a little bit I haven't lost any so uh, what it means you have no demerit points it doesn't mean that I haven't got the license it means that I haven't been um, uh, fined at all so yeah status active on the top so we've got other booking services on the main passenger transport levy vehicle details so you can you can check exactly what cars are under your name and under your license number um, I think some people even have the uh, medical conditions and uh, everything really con concerning their license and their status of their driver's license uh, and, and any, any of the vehicle licenses so you've got some uh, useful tools here change contact details address transfer vehicle and uh, so you don't even have to do that in person anymore and obviously under the help you can basically submit uh, what you want to submit to them and uh, you know um, they say they're pretty prompt in answering the uh, questions and inquiries. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.